A man sucker punches his own lawyer. All of this happening right in the Arizona courtroom on the first day of jury selection. Watch this. Police say the man has a violent criminal past. He's on trial for allegedly biting a corrections officer's ankle. He reportedly got upset after the judge ordered him to leave the courtroom. The lawyer had a bloody nose, but otherwise he's okay. He's filed assault charges against his client. But Joey, I mean, how is this guy not even handcuffed? Yeah, it's so true. I mean, what you do is you don't have a person cuffed in court because it's too prejudicial. They're doing jury selection, so you don't want a person to look guilty. But defendants have certain obligations. This shouldn't be happening. You look at the charges, what is it for? assault, right, relating to biting the uh, person on the ankle, right, the officer. Now, of course, he's charged with assault, and so therefore, you know, looks pretty guilty to me. Should never happen. Tensions get inflamed, but to do this to your lawyer, be on the pale. Yeah. Three women are accused of stealing a stroller from a baby store in New Jersey. One of the women spent several minutes trying to break down the stroller. Then they walked out the store, leaving her child. Six minutes later, she finally returned for the child. Police arrested two of the women. They're still looking for a third one. Joey, your take. So listen, the fact is, is that you leave your child there. Priorities, priorities, but you get something that you wanted, and that's the stolen goods. And then, Lynn, six minutes later, does it take you that long to determine that you don't have your kid with you? And so therefore, the irony is, yes, it's a theft case, but it's also a reckless endangerment case to the extent that you leave your child behind and alone in a store in public where who knows what could have happened to that child as well. Sickening. Um, this is a Beverly Hills real estate agent that's accused of stealing from the homes of the celebrities they represent. Jason Yaselli. He and his accomplice allegedly burglarized 14 homes for nearly two years, stealing clothes, artwork, and jewelry. The alleged victims included Usher and Adam Lambert. You know them. If convicted, they could face more than 31 years in prison. Joey, your take. Innocent till proven guilty, but where is the decency, right? You expect the person, they say, you know, he's posing, that he's selling these homes, that he's brokering for the home. Meanwhile, he's casing the joint. Not acceptable. May he get what he deserves as well as his co-defendant. Joey, as always, thank you, and thank you for watching on the story.